Hello, it's, well, I guess it's Wednesday morning now. Um, it's like 3.33 in the morning, and I'm still awake. I have to work tomorrow night, so I'm, or tonight, so I have to switch up my sleeping schedule in order to be able to be sleeping during the day so I can be awake tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, so I thought that I would make a little blog, because everybody is now finally asleep at the house, and, you know, we had a little bit of a... I wouldn't call it a party, but, you know, there was, um, some people over and, and whatever, so that was kind of fun. Uh, we haven't, we don't do that very often anymore, so that was kind of cool. And I got to see the baby for a little while. I mean, I know I live in the same house with him, right, but oftentimes, like, he's asleep and his parents have him out and whatever, and so I don't get to spend a lot of, like, you know, time with the baby and whatnot, so it's kind of nice to be able to, you know, have that time. Um... I was thinking of a couple of things today. I guess the first one that I was thinking of was, um, it happened last night. And, uh, do you ever take and, uh, where you consciously take over your breathing, where you consciously start to tell yourself, okay, time to breathe in, time to breathe out, or whatever? Well, okay, that was panting, but you get the impression, you get the idea, um, and, uh, then you can't stop, then all of a sudden, you know, you are controlling it, and the automatic breathing thing doesn't happen anymore, and you just kind of stop, and then you're not breathing, oops, I have to breathe again, Okay, time for another breath. But you don't do it all by yourself. That happens to me sometimes, where for whatever reason, I'll just sort of consciously take over my breathing, and then the automatic breathing thing doesn't happen unless I make it happen. Until, obviously, I, like, forget that I'm doing it, and then I start taking it over. But I have to, like, start doing math problems in my head, or read or concentrate on something else. And then eventually I'll forget that I'm the one that's consciously coordinating my lungs. It's very strange, and I've often wondered if I'm the only one that that happens to, or if it's something that happens to other people too. Because um, it's weird. It's very weird. I don't know why I do that. I just read, um, two years ago now, a ferry in British Columbia sank called the Queen of the North. And, um, the Transportation Safety Board is going to release its report later on this week. And they're going to say that they're not sure why it sank. Now, I'm pretty sure that it sank because it hit an island. That's just off the top of my head. Um, that, you know, I mean, I guess what they mean is not that they're not sure why it sank. They're not sure why it hit the island. But that is not what the news report says. The news report says that the Transportation Safety Board is unsure why the ship sank. Well, that's, the, you know, it filled with water. Steel doesn't float. So it sank. That's just the way that things work. You know, it's like the engine stopped in the plane. Why did it crash? Well, see, here's the thing. If metal floated... It wouldn't need engines. I don't understand how these ships that run aground on islands end up sinking. This seems very odd to me. When you run aground, why would you back up? If your boat is potentially filled... I understand the Titanic hit an iceberg. That was in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. That makes sense. 300 foot gash and an 800 foot long boat. You're going to sink. But when you hit land, don't go back out in the water. Stay on land. Jump off. Hang out. You know? Wait till someone comes along. 